Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to the annual 12 hour puzzle challenge. I did this one about the same time last year and I loved it and it's one of my most viewed videos on my channel and so I thought I would do it again. Part because I have a full day just open and just spending it puzzling sounds like a good idea. But also I'm curious to see if I got any faster over the past year. I have done quite a bit of puzzling, so I think I might have some new strategies that would help me. Um, but in general, I'm not taking it too seriously. So we will just see what comes of it. I think last year I did five puzzles total. Four were 500 pieces and then there's a 300 piece and then there was another puzzle that I got like maybe 25% done. So that is what we're basing my score off of. So if I can do five 500 pieces, then that would be a success. So I have a stack of puzzles here that are all 500 pieces. My goal is just to do as many as possible within the next 12 hours. I'm gonna start right at nine o'clock and then puzzle all the way to 9 p.m. And so that's my plan. This is the stack of puzzles. I think I have a couple other 500 pieces, so if I'm like halfway through the day and I'm like not feeling something, I could probably sneak them in. But here's my current list of puzzles. Uh, we have the Ravensburger Colorful Fruit and Vegetables, I think it's called. And it's just like a nice circular puzzle. Looks pretty easy. And it's one that I got at the International Puzzle Convention. So, and then the second one I have is from Antelope. There will be a separate video about them in the future. Um, and I will probably be doing some of their puzzles on camera, but I want to have a few of their puzzles available already. Does that make sense? So we are doing this one here, which is called, which is called Eternal Butterflies of the Spotless Mind, which is like more poster style and just has all these pretty butterflies on it. I thought it'd be cute. Um, we have a buffalo puzzle, which is part of their Amazing Nature's line, and it is their colorful ocean, which is super bright, fun, and happy. We have one from New York Puzzle Company, which is called Rooftop Relaxation, which looks super fun. I uh, just have this girl chilling with her dog on top of their rooftop. And then I have this one here, which is by the artist Dean Russo. This is an Aquarius puzzle. I think this was actually in my grouping last year, but I didn't choose it but it's called Beware of Pitbulls, They Will Steal Your Heart. Um, this is an interesting artsy one, which I think would actually be pretty tricky. I clearly got it at Hobby Lobby, but I got it half off, so it's like 650, which is cool. Um, so anyways, those are the puzzles that I will be working from, and maybe I'll sneak in a couple others if I'm not feeling anything, but I'm pretty excited about this pile of puzzles, and I'm hoping to get through five of them. I think my current go-to's is the Antelope, the Ravensburger, probably New York Puzzle Company, and I'm not sure about the other ones. But I'm gonna have fun today. I'm so excited. I won't show you me doing every single puzzle like overhead, but I will kind of talk you through where my status is and anything that comes up throughout the day. It's going to be a fun-filled day, so let's just get into it. All right, it is nine. We are getting started. I'm gonna start with the Ravensburger. So I think this one will be super fun. I'm excited. Come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes in, it will be share what we have grown we were having the time of our lives when we started everything was groovy but i'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted west side story don't feel pretty anymore Puzzle number one is done. This one was so much fun. Um, I'll go into more detail about the puzzles and experiences at the end, but it took me just about two hours and I really enjoyed this one. I didn't go like crazy fast, but I did just have a, a good time. So let's see which one I do next. So the puzzle number two is this one from Good Puzzle Company and I think it's going to be super fun. We spend 
bulk of our days feeling free Like we were properly stoned Till you liked everything but the likes of me I can't help but recall We were having the time of our lives when we started Everything was grooving But I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted West Side Story, don't be pretty West Side Story, don't be pretty anymore All right, I am done with puzzle number two and as you can see, I'm missing a piece. Uh, that's one of the risks of buying at the thrift store, but it was fun, I liked it. So this one took me just under two and a half hours. Um, super bright and colorful, really enjoyed it, um, but such a bummer. Puzzle number three is going to be this one from New York Puzzle Company. It's rooftop relaxation. All right, it is almost four o'clock and I just finished puzzle number three. I really enjoyed this one. It was a New York Puzzle Company one, but they had traditional shapes versus the quirky shapes. And this has like such good quality. I loved it. Let me show you what it looks like, but oh, this is a good one. All right, here is, oh, a Loki. Hi, Loki. So here is this one. Really enjoyed it. I like it. it's just like very simple colors, but okay. So let me see which puzzle I'm gonna do next. If I can do any more. Oh boy. Hi, bud. <laughs> so puzzle number four is going to be the antelope puzzle, which I've never done this brand before, but I like this image a lot. So we'll see how this one is. I don't know if you're enjoying this video, but I definitely am having a fun time filming it. Um, I haven't done a whole bunch of like overheads or anything because I have been using my phone for um, listening to audiobooks and watching YouTube. So um, I've been using it for my own entertainment, but hopefully you're still enjoying this video. Anyways, I just finished puzzle number four. It is 6.30. And I definitely have time to finish one more, so that's exciting. Um, I really enjoyed this one a lot. It was nice, bright, colorful. I like the words. Um, I, in general, like puzzles with words. And I like the different butterflies. It was super cute, and the quality was pretty good. Um, yeah, I like it. It's completely matte, which is really nice. So here is the antelope puzzle. I don't know if you can tell in camera, but the, oh yeah, you can. Um, but there are just like some words here, and then like, each butterfly has its name. And it's just really nice and pretty, bright and colorful, completely matte, and really good fit. Like I could move large sections at a time, which is great, because I would often have the butterfly in the wrong spot. But 6.30, I'm going to probably eat dinner for a couple minutes and then move on to puzzle number five. So I wasn't really feeling any of the puzzles that were over there, and I've been really wanting to try this one. This is called Donuts by Treffle. They are a Polish brand, and I will do a separate video on them once we get to Poland, but I have another puzzle that I'll be doing for that video. So I'm gonna do this one for now, um, but look how fun and bright and colorful this one is. I just think this one is going to be so much fun. So I'm just gonna break open this guy. I will say though, this is a massive box with this amount of pieces. Like, they could have uh, saved a little bit of cardboard there. We were having the time of our lives when we started. Side story, don't feel pretty anymore. We were having the time of our lives when we started. Everything was grooving, but I'm noticing lately we've been half hearted. West Side Story, don't feel pretty. West Side Story, don't feel pretty. West Side Story, don't feel Sad story, don't feel pretty anymore. All right, 
it is 8.40 and I could break out another puzzle for 20 minutes, but I'm pooped. Um, so I did complete five 500 piece puzzles today. That's a lot of pieces. So I'm going to round up some of my thoughts and tomorrow I will give you some of my thoughts about these puzzles. I'll just say this donut one was so fun. Oh my gosh. All right, so it is a few days later. I wanted to give you a quick recap of the puzzles that I did. I was excited to have finished five. I feel like the speed was pretty similar because last time I was able to finish five, one was a 300 piece, but then I did a little bit of another puzzle. So I feel like my speed hasn't really changed too much. I wanted to rank these like I did last time, but there was no way I could do that. Um, I pretty much loved all of these and I, would have, I wouldn't have been able to choose. Um, so I really enjoyed all the puzzles that I did. It was super fun, um, but I'll just give you a recap of each one, I guess. So the first one is this one from Good Puzzle Company, which I saw on the back is actually a Gallison brand, which is cool. Um, it was missing a piece, and it actually was pretty furry. Like, there must have been, like, a cat that was in the box or something like that, because um, I feel like it was, like, a lot of, like, gray fur, which was kind of gross, but I'm assuming it's a cat, hopefully. Um, but it was a cute puzzle. It was missing a piece, but can't really fault the brand since I did get it thr thrifted. Um, the next one is the New York Puzzle Company Rooftop Relaxation. Love how bright and colorful this one is. I do enjoy the crazy cuts from P New York Puzzle Company, but this one was traditional cuts, which was totally fine, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I did enjoy it. It's nice and bright and colorful, super easy, and I liked it. Um, next, we have this one, which was the butterfly one from Antelope. What's it called? Butterfly Eternal Butterflies of the Spotless Mind. I really enjoyed this one. So I will eventually do a video all about Antelope because they were super generous and gave me a ton of puzzles. And what I do love about the brand is they want me to be like 100% honest. So if there's any feedback they want to know because they want to be able to create a puzzle brand that puzzlers like to use. So I did this one. I'll give a more thorough review about the brand later, but I really enjoyed the matte pieces. I love the color. I don't know if I mentioned but it does come with a poster too which is nice um but it's a nice interesting puzzle i think it was cool that it had like a lot of words down at the bottom i feel like it was a pretty easy puzzle just really bright colorful and i liked it um next we have the ravensburger 500 piece fruit and vegetables i liked this one a lot too um pretty easy in general all these were pretty easy they're just right up my alley 500 pieces it was a circular puzzle I like the fruits and vegetables, you know, maybe out of all of them, this is, is one of the images that just like, it was okay, you know, it's just like pretty generic, but I will say the colors were beautiful and I enjoyed it. And then finally this one here, which may be my favorite out of the bunch, is the one from Treffle. The only critique I have is that the box is massive for 500 pieces. Um, like you could easily cut this in half and save a ton of cardboard. However, I did like working from the box, so I feel like it's like a, I don't know, choose your battle. I do have one, another puzzle from them that's a thousand pieces, which is the one I'll feature in the Poland puzzles. But this one is beautiful, super bright, very happy, um, really easy to do. I just love doing the different donuts, and I like the colors in the background, which also helped with the puzzle. Uh, in general, the quality was great. Um, the only critique I could give is that it's like a smidge on the crumbly side, but not by much. Like I could still move like a whole donut worth of pieces at once with no issues, um, but I could see it being maybe troubling if it was like, a lot of similarity within the puzzle. Um, I didn't see too many false fits. There was maybe three or four, but if it was a similar pattern, I could see it being an issue, but I love the image so much and it just made me so happy. Um, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle challenge. I had a blast as always with doing these type of challenges because it just, I mean, I'm just dedicating a full day to just completing puzzles. So that just makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, I'd love if you subscribed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.